Let's draw the Lewis structure of COCl2, or dichloromethanol, if you're into naming these fancily. You've got to count the number of valence electrons that you're given at the beginning. So carbon, group 14, brings four valence electrons. Oxygen, group 16, brings six valence electrons. I'm going to start writing these down. Four for carbon, six for oxygen. I have two chlorines. Chlorine's a halogen here. It's in group 17. It brings seven valence electrons. Seven for each chlorine. That's 10. 14, that's 24 electrons total. Not bad, let's see if we can allocate them properly. I like putting the element that can make the most bonds in the center. Carbon likes having four bonds. So I'm gonna put him in the center. I'm gonna put an oxygen down and two chlorines. It doesn't matter what arrangement you used here, just write the O's and CL's around the carbon. That's the key bit. I'm going to connect them all with single bonds because if they're not connected, they're not a molecule. So this is like the minimum viable product here. Two, four, six electrons that we've allocated so far. And I like filling the octet on all the outer atoms next. Again, I've done two, four, six electrons. So this is now eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. 20, 22, 24. I gotta stop there because I've only given 24 electrons total. And I've completed the octet on my oxygen. There's eight electrons around it. Chlorine, there's eight. Chlorine, there's eight. But carbon does not have a full octet yet. It only has two, four, six electrons around it. Now boron would be happy like that, but carbon is not. So how are you going to alleviate that? Your best bet is to move two electrons from one of the other atoms to make a double bond. Those two electrons that were belonging to oxygen are still technically belonging to oxygen, but they're now also shared with carbon. And that will give carbon a full eight electrons around it. If you're wondering why I decided to move it from oxygen and not chlorine, it's because I personally know that oxygen likes having two bonds. Chlorine is perfectly happy with a single bond. I'm getting these from the valences, by the way. Chlorine likes having a charge of minus one, that's one bond. Oxygen likes having a charge of minus two, that's up to two bonds, get it? There is a formal charge reason for that as well, but I'm trying to wean myself off of formal charges. Sometimes they lead me astray. This is it. I'm done here. Uh, there's nothing more to say other than there's no resonance structures here unless you were going to show a double bond with the chlorine as well, but it's just never going to happen. Chlorine is already happy as is. Well, best of luck to you.